So on the festival of Sukkot, and that is our sukkah here, the idea is to live and dwell in the sukkah for a period of seven days. Some people do it in eight days. Seven days, it comes right from the Bible, kind of this injunction, this instruction, to do it as a reminder of the wanderings, the travels of the people from slavery to freedom. All right? So it's kind of really cool that this is happening, you know, because this is kind of traveling from a state of oppression to a state of freedom. All right? So this hut, the sukkah here, um, you know, many Jews all over the world create these sukkahs to remember that um, and to re reconnect with the struggle for freedom and human rights all over, not only just for our own people, but for all over. And there are many of us who also understand very well that there are people in Israel and Palestine that are struggling very, very much for the same human rights. All right? Um, so there, we also, in the Bible, it's, it talks about... Where did it go? It's, um, it's, oh, it's over there. It's going around. To take four species from nature that represent different aspects of nature. So we have a... Now some of you um, from the Christian tradition will recognize the one in the center. What is that? Palm, okay. Palm, like palm, you know, palm, Good Friday, palm, palm Sunday. Not that I ever celebrated those holidays, <laughs> uh, but it's very similar. We have similar traditions. And um, so we have the palm from the date palm tree, um, a, a tree that bears fruit and uh, is very nourishing. We have here, this is myrtle, in Hebrew called hadas, um, which is, has a very wonderful aroma from a bush that does not bear fruit. And then we have this uh, branch from what tree? Willow. Thank you, Judith. We've got a ringer over here from the willow tree, arava in the Hebrew. And this doesn't bear fruit, doesn't have a particularly good aroma. And it's the one that withers the, the fastest. You know, so we have different uh, qualities here associated with the different species from nature and also this which is a, a complete fruit uh, from the pre eights Hadar, from, uh, from a tree. It's a fruit of beauty. Okay, so we're asked to gather to take these four species together, and they also represent the masculine and the feminine forces in the, in the world. Okay? Do I need to tell you which is the masculine and which is the feminine? So we take them together, and the tradition, uh, over, had, as it's evolved over time, is to shake the Lulu of the Liyad rope, in um, different directions. Different east, south, west, north, and also up and down to the heavens and also the earth. Uh, to show that the Creator is everywhere, um, all around us and also within us, and with all, within all of nature. We are connecting ourselves with nature as we are part of nature. We sometimes forget that we are part of, of nature in this earth. So it's a, a wonderful, um, this holiday wonderfully reestablishes that intimacy that we have with nature. Um, so I'm going to I'll do the shaking and then I'll pass around. And uh, um, the blessing says, blessed is the, um, the source of all life, the majesty of creation, instructing us to shake the lula. So, and you can, um, the tradition is to take the uh, etrog in the left hand if you're a righty, and then the other species in the right hand. But whatever works for you, great. So the idea is to reach out, and there are different ways of doing it, there are different traditions. Some start, you know, in the south. What do you guys do? You do the south or the east? Do east? Anyone do south? You do the south? The mystics do the south. So you must be mystics. <laughs> Reach out and draw in. And you can do a breathing. You can breathe in, exhale, and draw in the energies of the universe to strengthen yourself. Because we're all going to need a lot of strength in days and months ahead. Okay? Whatever, you know, like 
you should pass this around. Yeah. Alright, so I'll do a little shake. And uh, just do a little shake. I'll do a. Um, in ancient times, in the ancient temple in Jerusalem, the, uh, the Levites and the people would chant. Uh, we don't know the exact melody that they would chant, okay? There was no recording. Uh, so I'm going to kind of give a chant like, Hodu uh, Ladunai Kito. And the, the essential word is, which means the universe is filled with loving kindness. Okay? We need that reminder every so often. The universe is filled with loving kindness, and let us give thanks. Odu of Naikito, give thanks for the good in the universe. Okay, good translation? It's wonderful? Okay. So I'll, I'll start, and we'll pass it around. Odu la donai kito, ki le olam chazdo. Odu la donai kito, ki le olam chazdo. Odu kito, ki le olam chazdo. Odu kito, ki le olam chazdo. And usually I would do it a little slower, okay? But they want to. Who would like to give it a try? I will chant behind you. Anyone want to give it a try? Come on, I'll show you. Oh, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Okay. Do it. Your Lord used to do this. All right? Come, come, to, come up here. You don't want to hit anybody. You don't want to hit anyone, knock anybody out. You just... All right, take this over here. Okay. And, and the words, by the way, come from songs. Give thanks to God. For the, uh, for the Can I buy the so just shake and you from, you like the sound. When do the sound? Oh do la do not kito. That's it. Uh, yeah, right. You gotta do it. Do whatever you want. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoa, all right. So if you feel the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, go for it. Um, who wants to give it a try? If you want to do it in silence, you can do it in silence. So I'll just chant behind you. So remember, you're bringing your, you're drawing energy from the universe. Okay, you're filling yourself up with, with spiritual energy. Excellent. Okay, that's me.